Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Ange. And today we're watching Attack on Titan Season 4, Episode 14. I've noticed the last few episodes have been super stressful with there being barely any fighting. Have you noticed that? Yeah. There haven't really been too many like fight scenes per se, but super stressful. And there's been a lot of tension, which I think the show does really well. Attack on Titan's been able to demonstrate how to build the tension really, really well. Yeah. With just a little bit of dialogue sometimes, you know? Yeah. They build up to the big moments very well. Yeah. Which we're assuming we're going to get because Aaron has threatened his friends now by the looks of things. He's got got the cut on his hand, like we saw in episode four or five, one of those. So he's threatening to transform into the shredded. But I think he wants to have a chat. What could he possibly have to say? I'm not sure, but I really want to hear what he has to say because we haven't really... Had an insight into what Aaron's been thinking this season too much, have we? No, not at all. Mm. It's been making me feel very out of the loop. Yeah, we had the term Jaegerist coined last episode. So now at least I've got a little bit of background knowledge on the name that I've been called recently. So that's good. I've had that cleared up. One of our Patreon members actually wrote such a good comment. And I think it just perfectly describes how we're both feeling at the moment. Because we're sort of not comfortable fitting into any one category right now. And I think this just perfectly rounds it up for both of us. So it says, I love Aaron and I'll always support him. Not with killing civilians, of course. But I'm not a Jaegerist like Flock and his comrades. I do understand Flock's way of thinking. Yes, they do need to fight for their people and protect them. But my issue with him is that he only sees Aaron as a devil like Erwin. He dehumanizes them and only sees them as a means to a greater goal. As for Aaron, I don't like how he killed all the innocent people and I cried a lot because of that, but I'll never turn my back on him or see him as a devil. So the people who call Angie Jaegerist just because he loves Aaron slash the shredded. The shredded. It doesn't mean he's 100% on his side with everything. You can love people while calling them out on their crap. Yeah, I think I said it in a previous discussion somewhere that I love the character. I really do, but just because you love a character doesn't mean you need to agree with all the decisions that they make. Yeah. To be fair, a lot of the Jaegerists in the comments section <laughs> have been quite welcoming. <laughs> but I didn't want to be coined a Jaegerist just yet. But I love the character Eren, so I can see why they would call me that. But I think those people that are getting carried away attacking those people that like Eren need to understand that we don't like all of his decisions. Yeah. Still allowed to love the character. I think he's been the best written character in the show. The fact that they're trying to turn him into an antagonist as well is very bold, but I think it's been done really well so far. We obviously haven't finished the series, so we'll see what's going to happen. I, I, I'm a little bit worried about how this next conversation is going to go here because aaron has got this look on his face. And just a whole demeanor about him. Yeah. But I think one thing we didn't really comment on last episode that I'd like to bring up again is... That conversation that Sasha's dad was having, he's been a phenomenal character this season, right? A real good voice of reason. and He's going to be high on my tier list, I'm just saying now. Yeah, he's been fantastic, hasn't he? Yeah. He was given that metaphor about the children in the forest. We didn't really comment on it in the reaction. Mm -hmm. And I think he summed it up quite well using Sasha as an example. She couldn't escape that, that life, that war life that she was living. And she was kind of like always trapped in the forest. And he was saying that even though her intentions were good most of the time, she still got wrapped up in all that. That's at least how I interpreted it when watching it again. And he was kind of saying, like, if you're going to be violent to another violent person, they're not going to learn. We, we won't be able to fix this. So that whole metaphor that he was giving was really nice. And I think it applied really well to Gabby, especially. And he showed Gabby kindness there, even though Gabby killed Sasha, his daughter. So he's been a fantastic character this season. I didn't think Sasha would have this much importance when she was dead. Yeah, I think it's really nice what he was saying too. He was like, it's up to the adults now to stand up and sort of help change come about. And I don't think he was viewing Gabby as the sole murderer of Sasha. He was like, it's not this one child's fault. It's like she, much bigger than that. Yeah, she was like a victim of the situation that she was put in and... And that's why she's she's done that. She's fighting for a cause as well. Yeah, which was so big of him. Yeah. <laughs> and the mum. Incredible. He's been a really good character this season. Yeah. And I just wanted to quickly comment before we get into the reaction. Flock's one of the loosest units I've seen in this show. Yes. Like He went straight to loose unitville in that scene 
where he like told Hanji to shush or something. Yeah. He had that smile on his face. He was what? like, what the heck was that? Inside voices, please. <laughs> Locke's lost the plot a little bit. But I think we can kind of see why he's in support of Eren, just like he was in support of Erwin, someone willing to make the harder choices to benefit the people, I guess. Yeah, so you can clearly see that flock has been a, a pretty consistent character throughout the series, always kind of telling his truths. Um, I'm not sure if I like him as a person, but I like him as a character. Yes, I'm the same. <laughs> that whole that whole scene last episode was just a little yeah. bit... Yeah, and they had like the weird like clown music on in the background, like the cheerful sort of horror music. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Yeah, no good. Yeah. Flock and Yelena are really stressing me out. Yes. They actually scare the shit out of me. Literally, same. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. We just wanted to say a massive thank you to all of our Patreon members and moderators. Thank you so much for all your love and support on the channel. Just a reminder, you can get early access to all of these videos over on Patreon, and the full-length reaction to this episode will be there as well. It chills me the scene, it does. Completely forgot that Gabby was at the table too. I did not. And she wants to kill Aaron. I oh know, this is going to be very interesting. A lot of tension at this table. I'm surprised to hear him say that. Hey, Hanji's alright. They're being arrested. That's an interesting take. Yeah. Of course Mikasa wants to believe that. So formal. It's Mikasa! She seems like she's in denial a little bit. She doesn't fully believe what she's saying. Oh, so it is because of Bert. Okay. Wow. They're all a prisoner to something. She's ripping into him. Is that why they're connected? Is that the only reason? Oh, I was so cute. <laughs> oh, yeah, she gets headaches. What? What? Is this true? So I'm kind of shaking. Yeah. Yeah. No! It's like I can't believe what I'm reading. Don't. No! Turn it off. There's no way he meant that. She Carly. protects him. There's no way he meant that. No! My gosh, man. My heart. No, don't touch him. What the heck is this, man? 
I feel sick. これたちは争う必要はねえ。どっちだよ。くそ野郎に屈したどれは。誰がどれだ。うーん。行くぞ。どこに始まりの地。志願しなく。I <笑> He really wants to do that. Yeah. What is he reading? Are you right? It's one of those history books? I'm not sure. I don't know. Is he drinking his own spinal fluid? Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda love the two of them. Their dynamic. Mm. ライバーソンテンサーラブ。ようやく果たせそうだ。庭意味があった。それをようやく証明できる。ですナイス。わ。He's They've all been drinking the wine, of course. It works even when he's in human form? Yeah. Crap. We saw it in episode one of this season. Oh, Levi's gotta get out of there. Tell me Levi did not drink the juice. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Damn it, I wanted to see what was gonna happen. Oh no. They all feel it. Please, no. Crap! Bloody Zeke. Now Is Levi's it? gonna whoop their ass. I don't know if he was drinking the wine. Okay. They all drank it anyway, obviously. Ah, oh, they're climbing the trees. Oh, crap. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, damn it. He sees his friends. And his soldiers. He's got to dispose of them now. That's horrible. Can you imagine what he's feeling right now? Yeah, dang. Wait a second. He's not giving up. おたがよ信じることができなかった。全世界の勢力が文字記。Oh <laughs> Levi's fighting back. Oh, it's covered in blood. Yeah, you have to kill him all. Oh, it's one of his better moves. Oh no! <laughs> I mean, did Zeke really expect anything less? This is a great song choice as well. Ah. Uh, whoa! You just ripped her head off! Okay, oh, alright, Zeke. Alright. Oh, this. <sighs> no. Look what this poor man has had to go through. <laughs> this is the best power play. Yes. 
Oh, the scatter shot of doom. The thunder spears. Yeah. Oh, come on. That's got to be like, that's not even his PB. Oh my gosh. Zink got his ass whooped again! That's the third time. That's three and three. He's not afraid to speak his mind. Oh no, he's gonna make you run laps, mate. <laughs> Oh no, this is a disaster. <laughs> oh, Lockman's business. I thought it was the Loosest unit. The triumphant music is on. I think they're going to be excited. They're probably thinking, like, is this some sort of test? Clock got his speaking skills from Erwin. Mm. Wow, all perfectly in time as well. What? Okay, that's... I don't like his methods. I don't. No, no, there's no need to do that. Yeah, see, this is ridiculous. This does not need to happen. No. He's <laughs> got extra crazy eyes today. That whooped his ass. Oh my gosh. Yeah. He's like smiling. He loves it. Oh, Hanji. There's something broken inside Flock. Something's not right. Shouldn't be enjoying these things. Oh, Zeke. I don't expect he's got any limbs. I know he's got his legs. Oh. Oh, it's like jabbed in him. Yeah, it's got to be painful as. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, sake, man. Just asking for it. You don't want to say what kind of shape you're in. Oh, I feel bad. At least give him his glasses. Skrisha. This is where he gets a love of baseball. Okay. Oh. Not Grisha. Saba. I don't know who that is. New character. Interesting. Wow. So I was thinking, after we learned that information about Mikasa, I don't know if it's true or not, but it seems to be instinctual for her to... Protect him. Protect Aaron. Because Levi's an Ackerman as well, that's probably why he's had such a strong desire to protect Aaron as well. He was even questioning himself a couple of episodes back. He's like... Why am I doing this? Yeah, why am I protecting you? Look where this has got us. Is this a joke? <laughs> We're going to start a new segment in the discussion portion of our videos. We're going to, we'll call it something like Ange Protects Eren. Maybe you guys in the comments can make a better name. I can't think of one right now. So today on Ange Protects Eren. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to kind of back up his, no, I don't know about his actions, but what he was doing there in the room. Just like, don't forget the line he said. He said, Mikasa, I hate you. I don't think he does. You know, I think it is there. Now, I might be in denial, and I'm happy to cop that in the comment section. I reckon he's trying to push his friends away to protect them to some degree. 
I don't think he means that. One thing I've I've kept trying to tell myself is Eren as a character, right? His motives have not changed. We have to keep remembering that his methods have changed. But his motives, I don't think, have changed. That would be bad writing, in my opinion, if they did that. I feel like they haven't yet. We'll see by the end. Because I feel like you can't build up a character for three seasons, ingraining the same motives and stuff like that. You know what it's doing? They're putting like a rift between Aaron and Mikasa so that when they finally kiss, it's you, massive. I don't even know if they're going to kiss Carly. He's going to be like, I lied. It wasn't true. And then they're going to hug at least. I don't know. They've left that. I feel like they really left that storyline behind. I don't think there's going to be much happiness at all. Which is quite oh sad. Gosh. That broke my heart to see her like that. That scene was like being called to the principal's office. You know, when you're sitting there like waiting for your parent to walk in or whatever. And it's like that cold feeling in your heart. But she's, That's what that scene was for me. She still listened to him. She was still like obeying him. Because she's got that instinctual thing apparently. I know that. So maybe this is how I also read this situation. Maybe Aaron, after he somehow knew this information, I guess he's like the founder and he knows things and... All that sort of stuff. Um, and he's seen memories and all that. Maybe he thinks that Mikasa's fondness towards him is just because of that bond. So he doesn't feel like it's real. Right. Okay. Still, you don't go talk to her like that. I didn't really like his approach there. No, but I think it is what you're saying. Like, he's trying to push them away. Yeah. To create distance because... Maybe it'll save their lives somehow, I don't know. Yeah, because remember, let's not forget that weird quote that was towards the end of season three. It was like, Kruger said something to Grisha. Or what did he say? Like, you want to protect Armin and Mikasa or something? Something weird. Mm. So I still think like, obviously that relates to Eren to some degree. Yeah. So I think everything that he's doing is still to protect them. Yeah, interesting. I just don't know the ins and outs of what all that meant. They they kind of left that. When are we going to get answers to that question? I don't know. Yeah, I just think it would be wrong of me to think that Aaron hates his friends all of a sudden. It's not like that. And the way Armin defended Mikasa. That was adorable. But and then, then Aaron beat the crap out of him. That was like, hard. That's got to lose him some brownie points in your books. That was hard to watch. That was really hard to watch him bash the crap out of Armin. Yeah, Aaron's taking a very extreme approach. Very extreme. I hope it's for some good reason. I honestly do. I have to say, like, on the Jaegerist side of things, I have to kind of mention how they're taking drastic action, probably because let's not forget that there was a big gap. There was a big time jump from when we last saw them at the end of Season 3, where they had defeated all the Titans already, and they knew of the people over the wall, right? They knew of the Malians. They learned that from the basement, right? And then flash forward four years. I don't know how long it's been now, maybe four and a half years, something like that. The only progress they've made is because of Eren. Let's not forget that. He got the war hammer. He infiltrated Mali on his own accord, got the war hammer. I he did that. He did that. But it's like, do you think it's possible somehow that Someone who has done really good things can be a bad person. They can change. Yeah, possibly. But again, I see it as the Jaegerists are trying to take action because they what has... Uh, this is no offense to Hanji because I love Hanji, but I'm just... I'm asking because maybe I'm not completely filled in. Maybe I've missed something. I'm just going to ask, what have they achieved without Eren in that four years? That's all I'm going to say. The most progress they've made is because of Yelena, because of Zeke, because of Eren, in my opinion. Otherwise, I don't know how far they would have progressed in the war. Granted, I don't agree with all the methods. I feel like some things are avoidable. I don't know why he had to bash Armin. I don't know why Phlox got to go bash Shadis. I don't know why Eren had to kill the civilians there in Mali. I feel like all of that stuff is avoidable and they're the things I don't agree with. So like how many of those things might it take for 
for you not to have the Ange protects Aaron segment anymore. For that business to be shut down. I'm not sure. But that was that was tough there, that that ordeal with his friends, that discussion. I'm getting a flashback to season one where we had first met Aaron and Mikasa. I'm pretty sure this was early days, like the first half of season one. And I'm like, I just didn't buy I just didn't buy Mikasa. I was like, there has to be more of a reason why Mikasa is so obsessed with Aaron. Well now you know. I said it back then. No, but I think I still think she loves him. I think she does, yeah, but like it's obviously elevated quite a bit because of this thing, this instinct thing. Had they mentioned something like that before? They mentioned Not quite like that. They had mentioned some stuff about the Ackermans, but I wonder how Kenny fit into all that. They couldn't be controlled by the will of the first king. That was the whole Ackerman thing. But now it seems like the Ackermans are somehow bonded to Eren because of the founding Titan. So that kind of explains some of Mikasa's behavior. Mm. But I still think there's there's more to that. Like, I, I do think she, like, cares for him. Yeah. Obviously, yeah, but, but you're thinking some of it's fake. No, not fake. Just, like, enhanced. Right. Like, intensified is the word. I don't know about you, but if I had a crush on someone when I was, like, five years old, eight years old, whatever it was... I wouldn't be so, like, upfront about it. You know what I'm saying? No hate on Mikasa. Everyone knows I love Mikasa. I'm just saying, like, it's a lot. Well, I think, he, remember, he, he said numerous times, like, his biggest thing is freedom. And I think he said that livestock quote before, once before. I remember seeing him use the word livestock for some reason. <laughs> but he doesn't like the fact that she's not free at all her fault and i think he hates her because well he claimed to hate her because he doesn't feel entirely free because they're bound somehow because no, but of he thing. said he was free yeah i know that but i think he resents the fact that she's bound to him due to this founding titan stuff and it's maybe he doesn't think it's real i think he thinks it's pathetic i think that's the vibe i was getting from him like he said like you're a slave like it's it's kind of like low and all this stuff, but can't really help it. Mikasa. Yeah, that was that. Oh man, that was tough to watch. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, the episode was called Savagery. I can see why. <sighs> Fitting. Yeah, just with the words. Mm-hmm. Well, then Levi with his actions. Yes, I was just about to bring that up. Like, uh, I I honestly thought he wasn't gonna kill them, but that's exactly what Zeke wanted. Zeke was like. Nah, Levi can't get out of this one. It's his friends. For a smart guy, Zeke's an idiot. No, I'm, I had to say that. I'm sorry. I like Zeke as a character. Don't get me wrong. So all the Zeke stands out there. I'm sorry <laughs> for saying that. But I've got to be blunt, right? He is an idiot. He just can't read Levi. Time no. and time again, Levi has proven himself. And he's lost numerous times. Yeah. Quite comfortably. That wasn't even his PB. I know it. His PB was back in... Marley, but that was kind of fake. He was supposed to take him then, you know. Yeah, but what Zeke thinks that Levi hasn't had to make hard decisions before. As I said, like they're his friends. I know that. And but maybe Zeke at least thought it would buy him some time. That scene in the carriage where he's slicing his legs off, he's got the book on his face, Levi. Oh my gosh. There's something about Zeke's glasses. I don't know what it is. He needed them for some reason. To see. You can't tell me. He's been dying to see when he's getting his legs chopped off, Angelo. Is that the first thing that you would ask for? Yeah, I don't know. Your hunches have been correct, so I'm not going to doubt you. So you might think that <laughs> Not a lot of them. <laughs> you might think that his glasses have like... X-ray vision. Something. I don't know. Not X-ray vision, but something. Okay. I felt so bad for Levi. Yeah, that was pretty tough too. Just when he was like floating there for a second, you just saw his face and he was like... He knew what he had to do. Now, they teased the duck two episodes ago. Yeah. What's she been doing? I don't know what she's been doing. Yeah, for two or three episodes now. Two, I think. She's just like waiting outside. Mm, she's gathering more intel. Yeah. And another thing is, Aaron's taken Gabby now with him. He needed her for some reason. Or maybe she's like a bargaining chip or something for Reiner. Oh, yeah, true. Covering all grounds. Mm-hmm. Falco's about to turn. Into a big beta. Yeah, we don't know exactly if that's going to happen yet. 
We don't know if he ingested enough. He had the symptoms. Yeah, the electricity. Yeah. He did say that. Yeah, I hope that doesn't happen. I think there'll be a point to it, though. Who turns into a beta? I'm telling you, it's to inherit the armoured. I reckon he inherits the armoured. Do you reckon Ryan has come along as well? He's yes. somewhere on parody. Yes, and he's he's ready to die, unfortunately. Oh, okay. All he, right. he has been for ages. It he makes did... him dangerous because he's got nothing to lose. That's kind of true. Plus, if Falco eats him, then it's like it's gone to another member of Marley's side, you know? I found Eren bashing Armin harder to watch than what he was saying to Mikasa, in my opinion. Because I feel like he's said that to Mikasa before. I hate you. Maybe not those exact words, but he's cracked it at her many times for like, why you always got to protect me? You're not my... Ah, oh, right. This and that. And... I think for me, it's like watching him bash Armin was harder too. Because mm. there's no lie about bashing the crap out of someone. Whereas I still don't fully believe, like you were saying as well, that he hates Mikasa. Mm. In my mind, I think I've made up that this is some sort of play to get them to back away from him. Yeah, that's that's what I think. Yeah. Not saying it was right exactly how he went about it. It's just me making excuses for Aaron because I'm an Aaron simp. At least you can admit it, you know. It didn't help when he put the coat on a couple of episodes ago like that with the sunset in the back. I struggled as well. I even made it the thumbnail. <laughs> that was epic, that shot. So good. This is why I think Eren is just such a good complex character. At the end of last episode, they showed the look on Eren's face. And to me, it looked like he was about to do something he didn't want to do. It was completely like wiped of emotion, in my mm, opinion. Desensitized. They also started this episode out with the exact same scene. Yeah. I reckon they're trying to reiterate it. They're leaving hints that he okay. doesn't want to do it. That's what I think. I was going to comment on that. Like, you know, they don't usually copy paste the scenes quite like that yeah that was exact that was the exact same scene yeah and it wasn't even like in a recap style either no oh, i'm gonna get roasted what no i'm just saying oh. i'm just backing him up all the time <laughs> and she defends Aaron. the shredded <laughs> let's remember i think there's also another hint in there that he said armin insulted him a little bit insulted his freedom and that triggered something in Aaron. He got really pissed yeah. for a second. So to me, that still shows that Aaron hasn't changed from that boy that wants to be free. So he his motives to me still seem the same. It's just his methods that are different. Mm. I, I think I may have said this earlier in the discussion or in the intro. So I'm kind of looking for little hints like that to see if his motives have changed. But I don't think they have. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.